I need six thousand dollars or some guys are gonna kill me. You better get out of town quick. You ever hear of Joe Cooper? He's a cop, a detective actually. He got a little business on the side. What you do? He kills people. I think I do make the same. Well the same themes I deal with in all of my films, which in a nutshell, or in a simple way to put it, is about the thin line between good and evil that's in everybody. I could never make a film about a superhero. I've never met one and I don't believe in them. I believe in even the greatest uh, patriots and war heroes and the, 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 the there is an evil streak and also there's a goodness in every person I've met and within me I, I love the exorcist and the French connection I you know they've stood the test of time for 40 years you know we'll see what happens in 10 years or a hundred years but cinema is a very young art it's it's a new art form and it's constantly reinventing itself so uh, I don't know how it'll be regarded because there's no computer-generated images. You know, there's uh, no... Um, uh, uh, they, they seem to last because of the story and the characters. And uh, the older I get, the more I gravitate toward that. Not big special effects or a large canvas, but kind of a minimalist approach like Paul Clay perhaps um, when I started making films I was more interested in the sort of epic approach now I'm more interested in just character and story that I can relate to yes sir sorry we go wrong be quiet please be 10 take 1 A and B camera markers I, th I made, did this in the 80s, I think, at some point. And I had heard that Fritz Lang was still alive and living in Los Angeles. And so I contacted him through the Directors Guild, and he agreed to see me. And I used to go to his house and have breakfast with him, coffee, meet with him. And I decided that I wanted to share this with an audience who was interested in uh, Herr Lang. And so he agreed to let me come to his house for five days, an hour a day, and just film him talking as you're filming me. And he agreed, and out of that, because he had many pauses, and he had many times when he couldn't think of the right word in English, so I cut it to 40 minutes. And uh, it was a great experience for me, to, just to be in the presence of this man, a great cinema artist, very influential influential on all of cinema and so it was a great privilege to do that interview and get it distributed when i originally made rampage i was just um, without thinking about it against the death penalty and then i started to think but would I be against the death penalty for someone who slaughters a family for no reason? Or for Adolf Hitler, you know? Or for, you know, some of the uh, absolutely outrageous tyrants of history? You know, uh, no, I would be f for the death penalty. There are some things that people do that break the human contract, you know? I might have an impulse for no reason to come over there and try to strangle you, but I don't do it because there's a human contract that we respect each other. The people who do violence and kill have broken that contract. Something has snapped within them. When I go back to the States tomorrow, I have to start making a new Blu-ray of the French Connection. Oh, uh, yeah? Yes, for the 40th anniversary. And to correct some of the problems yeah, yeah. that they had with, with the other uh, 
Blu-ray, which was made by four or five different companies, and they all made changes in it. And the cameraman and I uh, have been allowed to go in and correct these mistakes, hopefully, and uh, they're going to release a 40th anniversary edition. And then I'm going to direct two operas in a row, and hopefully after that, I'll have some time to make Sorcerer, Blu-ray. Sorcerer is one of my most popular films over the years. It, it's the one I, I get the most um, mail about. Uh, and I didn't fully realize it to, to, you know, to the best of my abilities, but um, you know, it came closer than most things that I've done to be the film that was in my head. I don't feel old, you see, and the point is, you, the, the zeitgeist changes always, you know, and when I made films in the 1970s, they were exactly what audiences wanted to see, and audiences move on, they progress, uh, or they degress, you know, the kind of films being made today are not the kind of films that I would want to make. Some of them may be very good, and many of them appeal to large audiences all over the world. But I've stayed with the, with the kind of films that I wanted to see. And I'm not even tempted to make a film that is based on 3D or computer-generated imagery. You know, I direct films and operas, and I love the work. And I can't sit back and evaluate it. You know, I can't stay back and say, I mean, some of my films I like uh, better than others, let's say. Uh, some of the films I think didn't work at all, you know, but that's usually years later. Mm -hmm. And what Billy Wilder once said to me is, you're only as good as your best picture. <laughs> Not your next yeah. picture, your best picture.